Hello and welcome to a guided tour of the ClearSwift email appliance. This is the home page for the ClearSwift email appliance. This is nearly identical to that of the ClearSwift web appliance. From here, customers can choose which part of the system they wish to navigate to. They can see what has been processed recently, and in the case of the web, the websites that are currently being accessed. They can see the RSS feed, which provides them with important information from ClearSwift. We can also display system generated information or warnings that may have occurred. There are system health overview graphs so that they may see if there are any issues with their system. In the Policy Center, customers can create the necessary rules to manage their email and web security policies. The policy rule base can be extremely flexible to allow for customers to create rules that deal with complex security issues to enable communications flow but not impact productivity. Default email rules such as blocking viruses and spam from entering the organization are standard, but the provision for the control of content by file type, size or keyword expression for both inbound and outbound are also included. For web traffic, we provide rules that control both viruses and spyware from entering through their web gateway, but also control when and for how long employees may visit certain classes of internet sites. For example, no one can access adult sites, but online shopping may be permitted for up to one hour per day. The web appliance is also capable of detecting content being posted onto the internet, so being able to detect a word in a document being posted to a web-based email service, such as Hotmail, may be very important to you. Policies are tightly linked with user identities, so we can create rules tied into your organization user base through Active Directory and LDAP integration. The Message Center is only found on the email appliance and is the section of the product that permits selected administrators to be able to manage messages that may be held in quarantine and take action upon them. This center also features a message tracking capability that allows for messages to be searched for to determine where they came from, how they were processed and where do they go after processing. This is an invaluable feature in the product for the administrator who is often faced with users asking, where's my mail? The report center hosts over 30 different predefined reports covering user, threat and systems activity. The parameters of the predefined reports can be modified to create custom specific reports and to make things even easier, these reports can be scheduled for automatic creation and sent via email to any number of recipients. Reports can also be exported in PDF or CSV format for subsequent processing. The System Center contains configuration detail on many sections including monitoring, network, system testing and application updates. The administrators can view log files and see if any of the 60 plus system alarms have been triggered. The alarms can be configured to also send email or generate SNMP traps depending upon which alarm has triggered. Real-time updates for spam, virus, spyware and URLs will happen automatically, but application updates will be downloaded for the administrator to decide when to commit. The upgrades also contain a rollback feature for safety. The center also contains a handy series of test features to identify potential issues at the customer site. The health center provides in-depth, real-time monitoring of the system. A single page dashboard that can be used to view all aspects of the system and give the administrators or teams monitoring the servers the ability to see what's happening to their system. The system displays processing statistics, service status and alerts. The user center is where administrative users are created. User roles can have different level of access to permit the correct person to only have access to the parts of the product that they need to have. For example, you may create a user account for the human resources department 
that may allow them to only run reports and have specific access to certain quarantine areas. You certainly wouldn't allow them to view quarantine areas that may contain viruses. Thank you for watching and if you want more information please come to clearswift.com